the 10 worst school punishments ever. And this narrator is back, which is punishment in and of itself. Anything about an apocalypse is awesome, right Exotic Zombie 07? We certainly thought so, although this video isn't necessarily about an apocalypse, it still shows things you wouldn't want to be a part of, just like an apocalypse, but it's still entertaining nevertheless. Well, at least I hope it is. Number 12, holding hands. Two students at Arizona's Westwood High School got into a fist fight and had to choose between two punishment options, face suspension or holding hands in public for 15 minutes. I guess that's a new take on keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. Literally, images went viral, as you can see here, with Tweedledee and Tweedledum trying to hide their faces from embarrassment. Little did the enforcing principal predict the backlash he'd face, with the gay community criticizing this, uh, questionable practice? Saying that it shouldn't be considered embarrassing for two men to hold hands. Number 11, the fake prom. Speaking of the gay community, lesbian Constance McMillan and her girlfriend sued their school district for discrimination after being told they couldn't attend their prom as a couple, with her girlfriend planning on wearing a tuxedo. So how did this school district retaliate? They set up a fake prom! Constance and her date arrived at the designated location only to find five other students, all with mental disabilities! And all this happened while the real prom was happening just down the street! Justice was served when the school district was ultimately forced to pay $35,000 to the couple for the well-organized but also cruel prank. Number 10, the Cone of Shame. Meet Lori Bailey Cutcomp and the Dog Cone of Shame. Miss Bailey Cutcomp boldly brought this barbaric bit into class from her previous job as a bestiality expert. I mean, uh, veterinarian. All jokes aside though, she claimed it was all just a joke, but nevertheless got into huge trouble with the school board who put her on unpaid suspension with the possibility of losing her job. The cone is normally used to keep dogs from licking their wounds, but after this incident, it seems like the teacher will be licking her own emotional wounds after she's left broke, unemployed, and begging for a new career. Number nine, put in the hole. Acting up at Washington's Mint Valley Elementary School will get you a first class ticket to an isolated padded room, just as if you were put in the hole in jail. It's one thing to get locked up in a padded room and get left there in isolation, but if you count for all the reports where teachers or staff forgot about the kid in the isolated room, then you have a whole new level of cruelty. With so many adverse effects of extreme isolation on the human mind, there's no way it should be practiced on a child's developing mind. And imagine how bored you'd get if you were forgotten about. It'd be more boring than having to sit through an entire Bored Badger video. Number eight, eating lunch off the floor. If you think being Hispanic during Trump's presidency is bad enough, wait till you get a load of this. In 2009, seven fifth grade students at New Jersey's Sumner Elementary School spilled a jug of water on the floor while trying to refill a cooler. As punishment, they were told they had to eat lunch off the floor with only a thin piece of paper separating the food from the nasty ground. And it wasn't just for one day, but for 10 days straight. Teachers even had students who weren't present on the day of the spill join in on the floor fiasco during that 10 day period. And as it turns out, all seven students suffering the consequences were of Hispanic descent. The school fittingly faced the lawsuit, and all seven of the suffering South American school children chopped up a nice, hefty half a million dollars. Man, I'll eat off the floor any day for that amount of money, especially after YouTube's advertiser-friendly policies from the adpocalypse last March. Number seven, the piss punishment. If you thought eating off the floor was bad, try being made to clean up a mess you were forced to make. When asked what's the worst thing a teacher's ever done to you, a Reddit user posted that when she was in the first grade, a friend of hers, who was apparently a really well-behaved and polite student, raised her hand and asked to go to the bathroom. She asked several times over the course of two hours, and the teacher never let her go. Obviously, a kid can't hold it forever, so she pissed herself. And no, I'm not talking about the British version of being pissed, meaning you're wasted. I'm talking about actually urinating yourself. Instead of calling the girl's parents for some clothes and the janitor for the mess, the horrible teacher forced her to clean up the mess herself on her hands and knees with only a roll of paper towels in front of the whole class. If that happened to me, I'd be pissed, both literally and figuratively. Number six, the dress code violators. Speaking of the Trump presidency, gone are the days of free speech thanks to the liberal left. In California, a high school student was forced to take off his shirt and instead wear a bright yellow shirt with the words DCV, dress code violator on it. What was on his original shirt? 
Oh, nothing major. Just the American flag. The assistant principal thought it violated dress code that prohibits clothes that promote specific races, cultures, or ethnicities. Wearing an American flag in America? That's not politically correct. I'm offended. Number five, repeating the beating. A five-year-old boy in Texas got in trouble for punching a girl in the face while they were on a field trip to Chuck E. Cheese. As punishment, the teacher had the boy's classmates line up and punch him right back. What happened next? The teacher got fired faster than I'm gonna get booted off this channel. Number four, the chopped braid. In 2009, a seven-year-old black girl in Milwaukee named Lamaya Kamen was playing with the beads in one of her braids when the teacher just chopped one of them off. Her teacher thought that playing with the beads was disruptive and so got rid of the problem with the utmost of efficiency while little Lamaya was sent back to her desk crying. The teacher, whose name was left undisclosed, just had to pay a $175 fine, but was allowed to keep her job. Hashtag black braids matter. Number three, paddling. Sounds kinky, right? Not really. In 2012, Taylor Santos of Springtown High School in Texas opted for a paddling instead of having to face two days of in-school suspension after a friend copied her homework. Apparently, Texas is one of 19 states that still allows corporal punishment with written permission from the parents but law states that it must be carried out by a person of the same sex. In Taylor's case, it wasn't. The school's male vice principal was the one who carried out the paddling, who claims he wasn't aware of the same sex policy, which ultimately led to an investigation of Springtown High. In addition, Taylor's mom said her daughter's bottom was left looking burned and blistered, to which the vice principal claimed was perfectly normal. Number two, the therapy bag. Kentucky, home of Colonel Sanders fried chicken and inbred idiots. Here's why. Autistic third grader Christopher Baker was punished by being placed in a small duffel bag by her inbred idiotic teacher and tied shut with the drawstring. School officials deemed it the therapy bag. Doesn't sound so therapeutic if you ask me. Anyways, it wasn't until Chris's mom actually arrived at the school that she discovered her helpless son in his packed little prison meaning this wasn't the first time he'd been placed in the therapy bag. It caused an outrage within the local community, and those responsible have since then been fired. Why anyone thought this was a good idea? I have no clue, but thank God they got 86. And now for number one worst school punishment ever. For more videos, subscribe here. Number one, frozen peas. According to Wikipedia, tripophobia is a fear of irregular patterns or clusters of small holes or bumps. And if you guessed this was an example of tripophobia, you couldn't be any more wrong. This isn't a damn perfectly timed photos video, it's the worst school punishments ever! Let's get back to class! What seems at first glance like two disease-ridden fingers is actually a photo of a girl's knees after being forced to kneel on frozen peas for hours on end with her hands raised in the air! Think that sick and twisted? Well, apparently, this is an ever-increasing form of punishment in Asia. Man, my people are insane! Not only is it done with peas, but also with frozen corn or rice. Word on the street, too, is that some people started taking things a step further by making disobedient students kneel down on hot concrete or even cheese graters. What the f***, Asia? Go home, you're drunk! Be sure to check out our 18 creatures you don't want to run into in the wild by clicking here. Bird better. Native to Asia, the Siberian weasel mostly hunts small to medium-sized rodents. In Chinese folklore, the Siberian weasel is seen as a wandering spirit that comes to steal and replace other people's souls. This, coupled with the fact that they can still give you diseases and probably rip your face off while it's at it, means that the crazy weasel creature you see pictured here makes it in our don't touch that animal list.